Car crash that time of year, a little cold today, so it's time to take the 250 and put it on the shelf and break out Neo 10. Let's put a camera on it. I'm gonna try and use a plug from a old motor. Um, if you have one with heavier wire, it'd probably be better, and I may have to change this out. I don't know. We'll give it a try. Anyway, let's open this up. Get the box here. <clears throat> Get some spare props and a little controller. And then I 3D printed some longer sticks. This is going out to another person. Take this off of here. Pop these body off. And we're going to go for these two tabs here. And if you look at the bottom, I want to pull this battery out when you're soldering. Um, you can see the there's a positive and a negative on the bottom of this connector. <clears throat> So our power is going to be over here, and our ground is going to be over here. Alright, so, go ahead and fire up, get that hot. Try this flux pin, I like regular flux, but I guess this is the latest and greatest. See how it works out. And then basically you'll uh, you'll have to find you some little tiny screws and get these wires out of the way and you'll pull this one. See, they didn't even screw this thing down. Boy, that's horrible. So if you get one of these and you're not even going to do this, take it apart and screw this down because they didn't even screw down. It looks like the rubber's missing. Yeah, it is on this one. There should be a rubber in there. I'll be darned. Huh. I ordered a bunch of these for kids, so I'll have to check them all. That's terrible. All right, well, I guess we got to find some... Because you want the rubber in there, but this will just vibrate and it'll fly horrible that way. I have worked on a few other of these, and I haven't had them that way. So hopefully uh, the six I ordered aren't that way. All right, let's get on this. <clears throat> You want to tin both spots. Get a little more on there. Okay, then power goes on this side. probably in the way. They always like to go on the outside of the solder, just lay it like in in like that, and then lay your heat in there. That way you're not they're not wanting to touch. And then always make sure you ain't got a ball of solder in there. Make sure everything's clean. Take some rubbing alcohol and an old toothbrush. Give it some light brushes. Make sure there's nothing in there. <clears throat> I did that on an inductrix and it shorted out my brand new camera, so just want to be careful. And that's pretty much it. Um, I got to find some grommets for this board or I was going to screw it on, but basically you just, you do need some screws over here and you don't have to cram this thing down real tight, just um, 
snug it down on there plug your camera in of course and when you're doing that make sure your your plugs right you know that your grounds going to ground and your power is going to power you don't want to fry anything and tuck kind of tuck that wire up in there screw it down lock in your goggles or whatever you have your screen and you're ready to FPV there you go care crash out like and subscribe thanks for watching Okay, we had a little flight footage there. Um, that was with the low light. With the brighter light, the camera is a lot clearer. I just wanted to let you see what it's kind of like with the low light. Um, it flew for four minutes, pretty much. After that crash, I uh, flew it for a second and then the started flashing that the battery was low. So anyway, when you put your battery in there, you'll want to get it in here and you'll want to plug it in. And that's with stock motor, stock battery, and everything. And I found that my balance was I put it in and pushed the battery against the plug. I didn't have it plugged in there. There we go. So put it up against. You want to make sure it's balanced, and I take my pinkies here and go on these little tabs right here and make sure it's nice and level. See, that could almost go back a little bit more, so I'll pinch my wire kind of. 
That may be as good as it gets with this, but it flies really well for all stock. See there, it's pretty good. Nice and balanced. You don't want it tipping this way or tipping that way. And it'll fly a lot better. It's better on your motors. Get better flight time. And with the sticks, I, I like the bigger sticks. You got a lot better control of it. And obviously, I'm not <laughs> very good with them. Uh, I need some more practice with little tiny sticks. But And you can use that flip button. That's sure fun. So And then it has the dual rate. So uh, um, if you push this one, it's... Um, it has less control on the stick, so it's a little easier. But anyway, for a, a beginner setup, you can't beat that. Um, a camera and a spare plug, and you're you're running. So, be sure and like and subscribe. Care crash out.